All right, so let's take care of the Unity side of things for our TOPS networks. And really all we need to do is just create a new Unity project and get the Houdini engine installed and really just set up our environment variable. So Unity is also looking at our Houdini project. Okay, so let's jump over into Unity and get started. Okay, so here I am inside of Unity. It's a fresh project. I'm using Unity 2018.3.1. And the only thing I've done is I've gone ahead and loaded up the, or imported the Indie Pixel framework. And this is just so I can go and uh, create a new project folder directory or structure really quickly. Uh, I made a little tool that basically uh, allows me to set up all the common folders that you usually uh, set up for your, your Unity projects. All right, so there we go. So now I have this intro to PDG folder, and we've got all of our usuals in here. Cool just helps speed things up. So the next thing that we want to do is we want to import uh, the Houdini engine. So I'm going to say import package, custom package. And what I want to do is I want to go to my install directory where Houdini is actually installed. Okay, so I'm going to go to program files, side effects, just all the way down here. And we're going to go to our 17.5.170. And what I'm going to do is go to engine unity and then we're just going to select the unity package that is in that particular folder and that will be the latest version of the houdini engine right there okay so with that popped up uh, what we want to do is we want to import all this information or all this data okay so once this is finished i'll be right back cool so we did it so inside of the plugins folder we have all the houdini engine uh, files and stuff like that um, and then we also have the Houdini engine menu where we can go and check out the installation info. And what you'll see is a lot of times uh, it won't uh, connect right away. It'll say unable to detect Houdini engine installation, unknown type for the acquired license. All right. And so uh, one thing that we can do is we can come up here and say Houdini engine uh, session. Let's make sure we close all sessions. And we'll say session create new pipe session. And there we go. So you can see in the console, it created a new pipe session, which means now we can go back to our installation info. And there we go. Everything's all hooked up. Beautiful. So we're on Houdini 3.2.40. All right, cool. So this is ready to go now. Uh, it's finding the license and Houdini engine is ready to get some HDAs. So one thing I'm going to set up right now is a new folder and I'm going to call it HDA uh, inside of my project directory here. Okay, and this is basically where I'm going to keep all of my HDAs for our level building process or workflow or pipeline, whichever you want to call it. Cool. Uh, let's also save this scene. So I'm going to save this uh, particular scene over the master scene that gets automatically generated when you use the Indie Pixel framework. All right, cool. So with that, uh, we are pretty much good to go. One last thing that I want to do is I want to create a new file in here. So I'm going to right click on the assets uh, folder and I'm going to say uh, show in Explorer right here. And inside of here, what I want to do is I want to create a new text file. So we're going to say new uh, text file. And what we're going to do is we're going to create the Houdini engine environment variables. So for in order for this to, to work, what we're going to do is we are going to name this Unity underscore Houdini and then the extension is going to be ENV for environment all right we will definitely want to change the extension all right so there we go so what we want to do is we want to have this uh, file or, or this environment file tell the Houdini engine or PDG which folder to dump all the output files to okay so in this case uh, we want it to go to our project directory just so we have everything in one place all right and so this is going to be this particular directory right here. So we're going to need this information and we just want the directory for the whole project itself, not that geo uh, folder. All right. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to launch this into Visual Studio Code. So I'm going to say open with code. Now you can do this in, in any particular um, text editor. It doesn't necessarily need to be code, but uh, I'm going to put it here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to call this um, particular environment a variable pdg underscore dir all right and i'm doing that just to kind of maintain the convention for 
when we're working back and forth between Houdini and um, Unity. So then I'm going to paste down the folder where my project exists on my local machine here. Now this might be something that is, you know, on some sort of shared drive or something like that. So I would just make sure to set this appropriately. And I'm just changing all these to uh, forward slashes so it actually looks into the directory. Cool. So that is exactly what we need. So I'm going to save that. Okay. And go back into Unity here. And you can see now I have this environment variable. So now I am going to go to the Houdini engine um, menu. I'm going to go to plugin settings here. And what we're going to do is we're going to um, look for that particular file in this environment variables uh, drop down right here. And I'm going to hit refresh. And you'll notice that we actually didn't get anything. And that's uh, because let's, if we take a look at the documentation here, it looks like, at least for me on my end, it looks like it's looking for the hue dot or hue underscore environment path and then the name, right? And so what we need to do is uh, include uh, the hue environment path. So let me go back to code over here and we'll just do this like so. Very cool. So now I've got our project all set up and let's go back into unity and refresh and there we go so now we've got our new environment variable set up so that way we're looking so the houdini engine is looking into our project directory that we are also using inside of houdini so basically the two are looking at the same folders pretty cool all right so that concludes the setup for unity we are now ready to rock so let's actually do a quick test and uh, bundle our TOPS network up to an HDA and see how things work inside of Unity.